Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. Hola. De nuevo que he estado teniendo eh, algunos problemas con Zoom, que se me cerró inmediatamente. Bueno, esperemos que no suceda de nuevo. Veamos si estamos grabando. Sí. Ok, I'm ready. I'm just waiting uh, the rest of the class. Okay, another thing that I would like to see, otra cosa que me gustaría ver es cómo van en la plataforma. Veamos. Hola, teacher. Hello. Eh, ayer, bueno, estos últimos días no he podido entrar, así que no he avanzado totalmente en nada. Posiblemente tal vez el viernes avance okay. en la plataforma. Sí, sí, está bien. Ok. Ok, no hay problema. Ahorita solo estoy revisando para ver quiénes ya... Bueno, ya tengo ahí algunos que, que ya completaron y no hemos terminado los temas. Y ya van adelantados. Eso es bueno. Eso le quería decir, teacher. Este, no sé si pudiera revisar a ver este, a, hasta dónde eh, tenemos que ir. Porque ayer estaba, estaba un examencito. Entonces ese examen no sé si había, si teníamos que hacerlo o hay que esperar, no sé. ¿Está hablando del midterm exam? Sí, que traía como tres hojitas, pero que son, no recuerdo. Que traía adjetivos. A ver si son positivos, negativos, neutrales. Ok, permítanme un segundo. Lo que tienen que hacer esta semana solo es la, la sesión 2 y eh, sí, aparece el midterm. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening. Buen evening. Eh, sí, específicamente es algo también es una pequeña duda porque para serle sincero, yo he hecho casi, bueno, yo lo he hecho sin estar midiendo, ¿verdad? Hasta dónde tengo que llegar. Solo recuerdo precisamente porque el último lo hice el día de ayer, el último avance. Y eh, si no más recuerdo, llegué incluso hasta las, hasta las, hasta el uso del WH Questions. No sé si ya me pasé o, o voy bien en el, en el curso o hasta dónde tendría que llegar precisamente porque hasta pasé por un examen. Porque okay. okay. sin darme cuenta que era examen, pues yo lo hice. Ok, eso es lo que quiero explicarles para que no se me pierda. La sesión 2, esta es la unidad 2, es esta semana. Cada sesión es una semana. Ahorita ustedes deben de trabajar todas las actividades de la sesión 2. La 3 es la otra semana. La 4 es la última. Ahí no hay donde perderse. No sé si me comprenden. Sí, teacher. Eh, no sé si lo pudiera abrir corto para ver. Ahorita. Gracias. Por ejemplo, esta es la tarea 6. Comenzamos aquí la semana. Esta sería la de lunes. Esta es la del día martes. Esta es la de hoy. Luego tengo la nueve, que sería la del día de mañana. Y la número diez, que sería la del de día viernes. Entonces, es una por semana, ¿no? Eh, eh, perdón, una por día. Son cinco por semana. Entonces, ¿qué clase fue ayer? ¿Qué número de clase fue ayer? La siete. Ah, entonces me correspondió ayer a realizar esta actividad. Esta. 
que es lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. ¿Sí? Entonces, ya para después de la clase de hoy, nos corresponde la número 8, que se refiere justamente a esta, mira, a la rutina diaria. Luego la 9, ya en la 9 eh, aparecen algunas imágenes de, de la rutina también. Esto lo vamos a ver el día de mañana. Y culminamos con el review de la 10, que es esta. Hasta acá llegamos. Es decir, cada semana vamos haciendo 5. Entonces es de llevar la cuenta, no nos perdemos ahí. Por eso siempre en la, al momento que presento mi material aparece el número de la clase. Eso siempre aparece ahí. Se los muestro para que vean cómo lo, para que se vayan ubicando, porque... Ok, ahí aparece, mire, class number eight. Entonces significa que la actividad que van a tener que hacer allá es la número qué? Ocho. La ocho. Ok, perfecto. Entonces esto por eso siempre va acá, eso nos va indicando. Aquí tenemos la sesión ocho de la fecha del día de hoy, el mes, el año, y ya esto es la orden de inicio, es, un, es, es una serie de números. Así funciona. Ahora, me preocuparía si, por ejemplo, uh, tengo personas en la clase, pero que no están eh, activadas en la plataforma. Ahí sí preocúpese, si usted está en clase pero no está activa en la plataforma, eh, ni aparece en el listado cuando llamo, entonces ahí sí, al menos que esté de oyente, pero de oyente en mi lista no me aparece nadie, tengo hasta el número 20. Bueno, ahí está. Voy a pasar la lista. Eso es bueno revisarlo. ¿Por qué? Porque al final, eh, prácticamente con esta semana llegamos a la mitad del módulo, el día viernes. Estamos a la mitad. Significa que todos debemos ir en la misma sintonía. Pasando esta semana ya solo le quedan dos. El tiempo va avanzando muy rápido. Ok, América Elizabeth. América, are you there, America? No, no ha llegado. Blanca Esperanza. Present. Ok. Um, Brian David. Present. Ok, set two. Dani Carolina no está. Eh, ¿Quién más? Diego Antonio. Diego Antonio. No. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Ok, sir. Eh, Giovanni Antonio. No apareció. Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Ok, sir. Um, Jonathan Pérez. Present. Ok, set two. Eh, bueno, don José Carlos ya no está. Eh, don José Luis. Present. Sí. Ok, Karen Michelle. Present. Ok. Eh, Carla Lisset. Calderón Aguilar, ok. Catherine Mar Maricela. Present. 
Christian two. Uh, Lilian Soraya. No. Mayra Eunice. Mayra. Not here. No apareció. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Is there two? Roxana. Present. And let me see. Roxana Elizabeth. Okay, está de oyente trabajando. Eh, Sara Alejandra. Present. Ahí está Sara también. Okay. Okay, I got it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of people. Okay, let us start now talking about the new topic. As I told before, I already introduced this topic that we are going to study today, daily routines, activities, practice. This is class number eight, so I ask you to pay attention. I request to pay attention um, in order that you can get all the knowledge that we are going to share with you today. Okay, right now is the time for a review. I need some volunteer who wants to tell me what we have studied yesterday. ¿Qué recordamos de la clase de ayer? Veamos. Pueden ver los apuntes que tienen ahí. Hola. Hola, teacher. Estuvimos viendo los verbos irregulares. Ok. El uso del do. Ok. What else? ¿Qué más? Estuvimos haciendo preguntas. El do, do I, do you, do we, do they. Con el verbo más la base de la forma. Ok. De cualquier manera, eh, respondiendo de acuerdo al, a la pregunta. Eh, vimos respuestas cortas, largas. Ok. Thank you. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más recuerdan? Los verbos que terminan en consonante. Precedidos, eh, ¿qué letra, qué letra? Por ahí hay un, eh, tres reglas, por ahí hay tres reglas. Creo que era, uno era I, S. I, -E, I, E, S. Si es que no me equivoco. Ah. Pero también creo que era las terminales de los verbos en O, doble S, X. Ah, ok. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasaba con ellos? ¿Qué es, qué se, les colocaba, se les colocaba eh, la terminal ES. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Let me continue. Oh, 
Okay, hold on a second, please. Well, we need to talk about daily routines in English. But before to do that, we are going to read something about Kardashian. You know, um, I invite you to read something about her. Okay, I'm going to read it on a typical day without cameras. Solo dice ella, I wake up early, like six in the morning. I work out for about an hour before the kids get, get up. I wake the kids up at 7.05 a.m. And we all have breakfast together. I always have a bath. I love bath. I get up the kid ready and then take them to school, come back and start my day. I do my hair and makeup. It doesn't take long. Ready to work. I usually have one or two meetings a day. I can leave without talking to my family. I always do a video shot with my family at 2 p.m. When I finish work, I take my son to a music class and my daughter to a horseback riding class. Okay, I get back home at about 6 p.m. and we have dinner all together at 7 p.m. I read books to the kids and put them to sleep. Um, what I want is that you learn the new vocabulary, words that I have here in this reading. Okay, question about the reading first. Okay, tenemos un micrófono abierto que nos está generando. Okay, I don't know if you have a question about this paragraph or composition, whatever you want to call it. Okay, tell me. Hello. Can you repeat? Okay. Okay, no problem. I'm going to read again. Okay, send it this way. On a typical day, Without cameras, I wake up early, like six in the morning. I work out for about an hour before the kids get, get up. I wake the kids up at 7.05 a.m. And we all have breakfast together. I always have a bath. I love bath. I get the kids ready and then take them to school. Come back and start my day. I do my hair and makeup. It doesn't take long. Ready to work. I usually have one or two meetings a day. I can't leave without talking to my family. I always do a video chat with my family at 2 p.m. When I finish work, I Take my son to a music class and do and my daughter to a horseback riding class. I get back home about 6 p.m. and we have dinner all together at 7 p.m. I read books to the kids and put them to sleep. Okay, I don't know if you feel that is so long. No sé si lo sienten demasiado largo el párrafo. But, but I want is that you get new vocabulary. Okay, question or I don't know if you want to read it. Hello? It's okay. 
Okay, I need that somebody read it. All right, okay, uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. On a typical day without cameras, I wake up early, like six in the morning. I work up for about an hour before the kids get up. I wake up the kids up the 75 a.m. AM, and when I have breakfast to care, I always have a bath. I love bath. And I get the kids ready, ready and then take them to school. Come back and start my day. I do my hair and makeup. It doesn't la take long ready to work. I usually have one or two meetings a day. I can live without talking to my family. And I always do a video chat with my family at 2 p.m. When I finish work, I take my son to music class and my daughter to a horseback reading class. And I get back home about 6 p.m. And we have dinner all together at, at 7 p.m. I read books to the kids and put them to sleep. A horseback her, her, her writing class. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Lola? Next one, please. Volunteer, volunteers. Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset. Carla, Carla, si está leyendo, no la estamos oyendo. Okay, somebody wants to do it, somebody else wants to do it. Alguien más quiere hacerlo? Por ahí vi mano arriba de Carla, pero está teniendo interferencia, creo. And I'm pretty sure about that, but that is what I can infer about. Okay, no volunteer to read it? No? Bueno, no hay voluntarios para leer. Aló. I don't know what is happening here. I got uh, Mauricio is there. Don Jose Beltran is there. Patrick is there. Diego is there. Blanca is there too. Okay, Mauricio. On a typical day where I cameras, I work up early. Like six in the morning, I work up for a boat and how before the kids get up, I wake the kids up the 75 a.m. and we all have breakfast together. And then we have a bath. I love, I love baths. I get the kids ready and they take them to school, come back and start my day. I do my hair and makeup. I doesn't take long, take long. Ready to work, I usually have her on one on two million a day. I can't live without talking to my family. I always 
always do a video chat with my family at 2 p.m. when I finish work. I take my son to a music class and my, da my daughter to a horse reading class. I get back home at about 6 p.m. and we have din dinner and together at 7 p.m. I read books to the kids and put them to sleep. Okay, thank you. Okay, I need all of you practice. Come on, you can do it. Okay, let me see if somebody else. Okay, tengo a Jonathan and tengo a Blanca. Okay, go ahead. Who wants to do it, Phil? No, we didn't do that. Okay, try to do it. On a typical day, without cameras and wake up early like um, like six in the morning i work up for about an hour before the kids get out yeah. i wait Continue. i wait i wait the kid up uh, at 7 5 a and we'll all have breakfast together I always have a bath. I love bath. I get the kids ready and then take them to school, cut back, and start my day. I do my hair and make up. It doesn't take long, really, to work. I usually have one or two meetings a day. I cannot lie without talking to my family. I always do a video chat with my family at 2 p.m. When I finish work, I take my son to a music class and my daughter to a horseback reading class. And I get back home about 6 p.m. and we have dinner all together at 7 p.m. I read book to the kids and put them to sleep. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Hay algunas palabras ahí que todavía necesitamos afinar. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice, on a typical day, I'm going to put close to my microphone, on a typical day with, without, without cameras, I wake up early, like six in the morning. I work out for about an hour before the kids get, get up. Esa palabra que está ahí, las dos que están ahí, work out, work out. For about an hour before the kids get, get up. I wake the kids up at 7.05 a.m. And we all have breakfast together. I always have a bath. I love baths. I get the kids ready. And then take them to school. Come back and start my day. I do my hair and my makeup. It doesn't take long ready to work. I usually have one or two minutes a day. I can't leave without talking to my family. I always do a video shot with my family at 2 p.m. When I finish work, I take my son to a music class and my daughter to a horseback riding class. I get back home at about 6 p.m. and we have dinner all together at 7 p.m. I read books to the kids and put them to sleep. 
Ok, yo posiblemente eh, tenga esa lectura a varias palabras que son nuevas para ustedes. Pero de eso es lo que se trata, que aumente su vocabulario. ¿Alguien más desea leerlo o pasamos a la siguiente? Exacto. Ojo, estoy llamando a todo el mundo de manera voluntaria. De esa forma, eh, es que debemos de irlo haciendo ya para ir cambiando de esquema. No esté esperando que le mencione su nombre. Hagámoslo de manera voluntaria. Sí quiero desarrollar mis habilidades. Ahí voy. Ok, somebody wants to read it or not. If not, I'm going to move to my next slide. Si ya nadie va a leer, ok, me muevo a la siguiente diapositiva. ¿No? Ok, I'm going to... Ok, tengo a don José Beltrán. Eh... On a typical day, without camer cameras, I wake, I wake up early, like six in the morning. I work out for about an hour before the kids get up. I wake the kids up at seven or five a.m. and we and we all have breakfast together. I always have a bath. I love bath. I, I get the kids ready, re uh, ready, and then take them to school come back and start my day. I do my hair, hair and makeup. I doesn't take long or really to work. I usually have one or two meetings a day. I can live without talking to my family. I always do a video chat with my family at 2 p.m. When I finish work, I take my son to a, a music class and my daughter to a horseback reading class. I get back home at about at about at about 6 p.m. and we have the dinner all together at 7 p.m. I read books to kids and put them to sleep. Okay. I don't know why, but of course I know that we are learning. It's a process. But I need that you underline this word. Necesito que esta palabra eh, le pongamos un poco de atención. Uh, let me put it in this triangle. Okay, I'm going to put it here. Okay, pay attention about this word. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, this is a compound where her, her back's writing, her back's writing, writing, writing. Que esta viene de, de ¿se, se recuerdan de la famosa palabra writers? No? Hello? No writers, creo. es pirata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this case, uh, I'm, I'm emphasizing this because the way that you are going to produce the sounds, in this case, for it back writing class. ¿A qué clase es que va la hija? ¿A una clase de qué? Equitación. Ah, ok. Entonces, he ahí la forma de pronunciación de esa palabra porque si yo digo reading entonces como que me estoy refiriendo al verbo leer no eso es lo más próximo que puedo poner ahí cuando dice que write write que esta palabra es la que procede también del famoso write cuando la gente dice dame write así lo pronuncio se refiere a esa palabra Okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, I'm going to move for a course of the time. Bueno, los que no leyeron se quedaron ahí. Okay, I'm going to read the last part. Say at 9 p.m. A las 9 p.m. I answer email and go online. I love searching eBay. I sell. I sell shoes and clothes. In eBay all the time. Before I go to the bed, I study. For law school, I spend my night reading until about 11 p.m. I don't watch much TV because I don't have time. 
I'm usually so tired that I just fall asleep. Do you think I am lazy? Hasta le hace una pregunta. Ok. ¿Alguien me lee este párrafo? Brian? What about you, sir? Yeah, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Yeah. Uh, is I answer emails and go online. I love series eBay. I sell shoes and clothes on eBay all the time. Before I go to bed, I study for law school. I spend my nights reading until about 11 p.m. I don't watch much TV because I don't have time. I am usually so tired that I just fall asleep. Do you think I am lazy? Oh, thank you, sir. That's all. Yes, thank you. Bueno, me decía Carla está leyendo y se oía. Okay, okay, somebody else wants to do it. Or not. Okay, let, let me go to some question because this is not the main topic. Okay, I got something here, for example. Uh, what about how can I resolve this one? Kin up early, like six in the morning. How can I fix this one? Wake up. Uh, okay, wake up early, like six in the morning. Okay, chi. She go out work. Uh -uh. No go out. Es otra palabra. Sí. ¿Qué hace? She work out. Ah, work out. Okay. Sabemos el significado de eso, ¿cierto? Okay, perfect. Uh, well, number three, all, all the family, all the family breakfast together. Try to remember, please. What happened with the family? ¿Qué pasa con, qué sucede con la familia? Dime. Take all the family. Take breakfast together. Okay, number four. She always a bad. She bad. Take. She always. Take take a bath. Okay, and the next one. She. Low. She loves bats. Okay, now if I she her kids to school. Vamos, vamos, están poniendo prueba su mente. Have. Será have her kids to school. ¿Qué hace con los chicos? Leave. Go. Será go? Luego se lo muestro otra vez. Ok, number six. She, her, hair and makeup. What happened with that? ¿Qué pasa con su, su pelo y su, y su maquillaje? ¿Qué pasa? Try to remember, try to remember, please. What about number seven? She one or two million. Que falta acá? He usually have. Okay. Complete, complete, complete the sentence. She, she usually have one or two meetings. Okay, perfect. What about the previous one? Somebody wants to resolve. 
Okay, what about nine? She back home at about 6 p.m. Okay, vamos, vamos, vamos. She She's get back. back. Get back, get back. Okay. And the last one, number 10, she emails and online. She checks my email. Okay, take a look at this. That's it, answers. Answers. Right here, we have we got the information. And based on that, we are going to, I get back home. I get back home at about 6 p.m. Okay. I do my hair and makeup. I have one or two meeting a day. Oh, okay. You have it there. Okay. Let us continue then. I got some some like uh, impression that we are going to use when we talk about uh, a daily routine. Okay, the first one that we have is wake up, wake up. Imagine somebody is asleep and then you say, hey, wake up. ¿Qué significa wake up? Despertar. Okay. Levantarse? No, wake up. Wake up is uh, open your eyes. Um, okay. Open your eyes. Okay, the next one. I turn off my alarm. Turn Apagar off. la alarma. How many of you use alarm in order to wake up in the morning? Let me see how many of you. I have a two alarms. You you got two alarm? Yeah, two alarm. Okay. One in your cell phone and another one in a different in cell phone. I have a two alarms uh, in my cell phone for wake up all the mornings. Okay. Okay, perfect. I used to set set a, a, a an alarm in my phone, but I wake up uh ten minutes before the alarm. <laughs> you know, that usually happens. For ten minutes early. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or or after. Yeah, early, early before the alarm uh sound or activate. I wake up and yeah, and I shake out my phone and I said, "And you I get up uh, exactly when you alarm when you turn on your alarm and you get up, or you decide to sleep more minutes." Yes. Okay. The next one say, "I get up. I get up. I get up." Significa levantarse. Okay, I get up, I take a shower, I take a shower. Bañarse o tomarse un baño. I get dressed. Vestir. I comb my hair. Recoger mi cabello. Okay, hold on a second. Let me show you some picture in order that you can understand better. Okay, hold on a second. Déjeme hacerlo de otra forma más fácil de entender. Okay, I guess it's going to be better here. Okay, take a look at that. Hold on a second. I don't know what is happening. Okay, okay, take a look at the picture. Take a look at the picture. Okay, what happened here? ¿Qué pasó aquí? Hello. Ah, okay, the third one is I wake up. Repeat, I wake up. 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 
Ok, at the moment that you are speaking, al momento que estamos hablando, uh, las palabras se acortan. Cuando estamos en un proceso como este, nosotros vamos haciendo sonidos separados. Por ejemplo, así como alguien lo lee, dice, I wake up. Pero después se da cuenta que si yo tengo eh, una consonante acá y una vocal que sea más suave, hago una sola. ¿Sí? Y digo, I wake up. ¿Sí? Sin estar haciendo pausas. Okay, but in this case, it's different. En este caso es diferente, ya lo hablamos el día de ayer, aquí tengo inflections porque se refiere a tercera persona del singular. Entonces ya no digo wake up, sino que digo she wakes up, wakes up. Aquí cambia porque ya tengo una S acá. Aquí wake up y aquí she wakes up, wakes up. Repítanlo. She wakes up. Okay, perfect. What about the rest? She wakes up. She wakes up. Leanme los dos. Leanme los dos. I wake up. She wakes up. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. I wake up. She wakes up. Wakes up. Okay, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? Solo tres tengo en clase, okay. I wake, I wake up. up, she wakes up. Come on, you can do it. I wake up, she wakes up. She? She wakes up. Wakes up, wakes up. Wakes up. Okay, next. Who's next? I wake I up. Wake. She wakes up. I wake up, she wakes up. Okay, thank you. Let me continue then. Take a look at the picture. What about get up? Okay, take a look at this. Hold on a second, please. Okay, get up, get up. In this case, we say she gets up. Ojo con esto, vea cómo cambia la pronunciación. Si me refiero a ella, dice she get, gets up, gets up. Pero si me se refiere a mí mismo, digo I get up, get up. Aquí no hay S. Aquí sí porque es tercera persona del singular. Ok, lean, lean esta expresión. She gets up. Up. Y la S con la U hace get up. She gets get up. up. Sí. Ok, ¿quién más? She gets up. She, she gets up. She gets up. She gets up. She gets up. Si se refiere a usted, ¿cómo diría? I get up. I get up. I get up. I get up. At five o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. All depends. Okay, take a look at this. Take a shower. He takes a shower. He takes a shower. Lea. He takes, he takes a shower. He takes a, a shower. Okay, pero si se refiere a mismo, ¿cómo va a decir? I take a shower. I take a shower. I take a shower. I take a shower. Six o'clock in the morning. Ok, vaya grabándose esas palabras si no las conoce, por favor. Or we can say she has a shower. She has a shower. She has a shower. Yeah, she has a shower. What about this one? Who wants to tell me the sentence related with this? Bruce, a, a thief or tooth, parece teacher.
Okay, the first one say, I brush my teeth. Repeat, I brush my teeth. I brush, I brush my, my teeth. teeth. I brush my teeth. Okay, and the, and the next one says, she brushes her teeth. She brushes her teeth. She brushes her teeth. She brushes her teeth. Her. She brushes her teeth. Acuérdense que ahí es donde agregamos es al verbo cuando se usa en tercera persona. Okay, what about this picture? What can you tell me about this one? ¿Qué me dice de esta? O de esta. He comes. Okay, let me see what you have here. Brush and comb hair, okay? He comes his hair. Ojo con eso, porque ya se nos está escapando que tenemos que usar adjetivos posesivos. He comes his hair. Ah, okay. What else? She brushes her hair. También puede suceder eso, que ella se cepille su pelo. Ok, guarden ahí, guarden ahí, por favor. Ok, what about this one? What can you tell me about? ¿Qué me dicen de estas dos imágenes? ¿Qué rutina sigue? Take a breakfast. 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 Será he, será she, será which one? Será they. They. Ah, they eat breakfast. They eat breakfast. Okay, keep in mind, please. What happened here? Take a look of the picture. What can you care about? ¿Qué cree usted que pasa ahí? Que va tarde. Ok, pero en la parte de la rutina, ¿cómo sería para ubicar eso? Diría, he goes to be late. Ah, ok, let me see. Go to work or go to school. I go to work. Or he goes to school. He goes to school. ¿Por qué tengo ES ahí? Me explica, por favor. Porque he es tercera persona. Y porque, ajá, pero ¿qué más? Además de, este, de ser he, ¿qué, car ¿qué característica el... tiene el verbo? ¿Qué dice la regla? Que cuando termine en O se le agrega ES. Ok. Ok, what about this one? What can you tell me about? What can you tell me about? ¿Qué me dicen sobre estas dos imágenes? Siguiendo la rutina. No idea, no, no, no idea. Eat lunch. Ok, I eat lunch. He eats lunch. Aquí vamos las dos partes al mismo tiempo.
Okay, what about this one? I go back to the, to the house. Será house or que será? Come home. He comes home. Why come home? Yeah, we have both of them. Tengo primera y tengo tercera persona. Por eso tengo mostrando estos cambios. Okay, what about this one? Eat dinner, okay? They eat dinner. They eat dinner. Okay, repeat. They eat dinner. They eat they dinner. They eat dinner. They eat dinner. They eat dinner. Who wants to read it? Quien las lee? He watches he TV. He watches TV. She watches watch TV. TV. Y la E no suena. Watches TV. She watches TV. He watches TV. He watches what? TV. What happened here in this picture? ¿Qué pasa en la imagen? Piense. He is sleeping. Pero en la rutina, no, no se podría decir así. Mm. I go to sleep. He goes to sleep. How do you pronounce? Sleep? I'm sleeping. Okay, the first one said he gas. He gas to sleep. He gas to sleep. Or She goes to sleep. She goes to sleep. Okay, hold on a second. And the last one, she goes to sleep. That is our daily routine. Okay, hold on, let me switch some activities that you are going to perform. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me try to do something now. Okay, hold on, hold on a little bit. Okay, pay attention about this one. 
When we are going to talk about daily routine, we are going to mention different scenarios. Okay, repeat. I'm going to pass. Yo voy a ir pasando y usted me va eh, leyendo, por favor, lo que, lo que está en la figura. Okay, the first one. Get up. Get up. Okay, get, get up. up. Get up. Okay, and we got an example there. She gets up at seven o'clock. Es diferente decir, por ejemplo, uh, I get up. Cuando ya me refiero a ella o él, he o she gets up. Ahí cambia. Okay, what about the next one? Read it, please. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay, next one. Who wants to read this sentence? Has breakfast. She has breakfast. She has breakfast. She has breakfast. What about you? Would you like to share your info now? I take a breakfast at eight o'clock. Okay, at eight o'clock. What about the rest? You look the mass. I take a she breakfast at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Somebody else wants to say something about? No? No cambiado. No, but uh, when I show you this one, the previous one, not all of you are going to have breakfast at the same time. No todos desayunan a la misma hora. Uh, another plus is that some of you maybe uh, take your breakfast at home. And, and another one, uh, take your breakfast near to your job or maybe inside your job, I don't know. Okay, what about this one? Clean teeth, brush teeth. Clean teeth. Brush teeth. And you can say I clean my teeth or I brush my teeth. They, they clean their teeth. They, they clean their teeth. Their they teeth. clean their teeth. Clean their teeth. He cleans his, his teeth. teeth. She cleans she her cleans teeth. Her teeth. They clean okay. their teeth. Okay, what about this one? Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Okay. Get dresses. Who wants to read the sentence? She had she had dresses after breakfast. After breakfast. Okay, right here, dressed, dressed. Esto de LD no suena. Ese LD puede sonar uh, in three different ways. E D T O D. She she get she gets dressed after. She get dressed after breakfast. She get dressed after yes. breakfast. Yes. Okay. What about this one? Brush hair. Brush hair. Create a sentence. Brush hair. 
this boy hair hair. She brushes her hair. She brushes her hair. She brushes her hair. Her hair. Yes. What about this one? Leave home and go to school. Leave home and go to school. Yes. Home and go to school. In 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 your case, you are going to switch this. En el caso de ustedes, van a cambiar la palabra school. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué palabra? Work. Work. Okay. okay. For your job, right? Okay. Let me do something else. They leave home at half past eight and go to school. They leave home at eight and go to school. Okay, observe cómo se dice at half past eight and go to school. Half past eight and go. Okay. Half. 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 They la, they half. Leave. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? Half, es this word, half. Half. La L no okay. suena, solo la F, solo half. Uh, half. Ok. Ok, what about this one? Have lesson or work or study? Have lesson, work, study. En el caso suyo, ¿cómo haría la oración? Tome ya sea lesson, work o study. Créela como una rutina para usted. I have work. Okay, next. She has lesson in the morning. Go back home. Go back home. Go back home. Go back home. They go back home after work. In this case, they go back home after school. What about this one? Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Lunch. Y si se refiere a él o a ella, ¿cómo sería? Have lunch. Have lunch. Pero le faltaría el pronombre. Antes, siempre no se debe She de... have lunch. Ah. She has lunch. Okay, watch TV. How can we create the, the sentence? He watches TV in the afternoon. Read it, read it, please. Repeat that. He, he watches TV in the afternoon. He watches TV in the afternoon. He, he, al inicio es he. He watches TV he in watches the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yes. Do homework. Do homework. Yeah. Do homework. Okay, vean este en positivo. He does his homework in his bedroom. He does his, his homework his in his bedroom. His bedroom. Okay, listen to music. How can we create a sentence using that? ¿Cómo puedo crear una oración haciendo uso de listen to music? He is listening to music. I listen to the music in the afternoon. Okay, ahí tenemos que tener cuidadito, cuidadito. I listen to music at... Ay, sí, mira. I listen to music and the bus. He listens to rock music. Okay. 
Okay, what else do we have here? Play computer games. Play computer games. ¿Cómo sería la versión ya utilizándola ustedes? I play. I play computer games with my friends, with my family, with my relative. With my son? Yeah, it could be that too. Ok, talk on the phone. Talk on the phone. ¿Cómo, talk. ¿Cómo decimos esa parte? I talk on the phone with my boss. Aplicándolo a la rutina, ¿cómo sería? I talk on the phone at the calling on my manager. Okay, son ideas, son ideas. She talks on the phone with her friends. Okay, meet friends. Meet friends. Sí, ¿cómo sería la oración ahí? At meet friends on the Sunday at 6 p.m. Okay, I I I met friends in in the camping area could be too. They met friends at the weekend. They meet. What about this one? Go for a walk or go to a friend house. Choose one and tell me. Elija una y me dice. She goes for a wall. She goes for a wall. She goes for a wall in the afternoon. She go for a walk or she go to a friend house. They go for a walk in the afternoon. What about this one? Have a shower, have a bath. Create the sentence, create la oración, por favor. He has a washer. He has a shower. He has a shower in the evening. In the evening. What about this picture? They they eat. Eat dinner. They have dinner. They have. In the dinner. kitchen, you know. Okay, what about this one? How can you create this? Read a book. He reads a book. Okay, I'm going to stop here. We are going to create another kind of uh, exercise test. I'm sorry for my, for my camera. La disculpa por mi cámara. Al inicio estuve un apagón y estoy teniendo señal baja de internet. No problem, teacher. Okay, uh, let, let us continue with the next exercise. Vamos a continuar con el siguiente ejercicio. Okay, hold on a second, please. Yeah. 
sí está lento esto. Okay, I'm going to share uh, an exercise and you are going to resolve. Okay, ábrelo y ahí lo resuelve, por favor. Tómese su tiempo. No se nos olvide que lo que vamos a hacer es ubicar números. Okay, don't forget interaction. Look at the picture of everyday activities. Write the number of the picture next to the correct expression.
Ok, tan pronto finalice, me avisa, por favor. Okay, take a look at the picture and basically you are going to put the numbers in the right place. Observen bien las imágenes, basado en eso van a, a escribir el número en la opción correcta. I finished, teacher. Okay, thank you. Tres, tres veces. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish the chair. Finish the show. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, someone else? Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you.
Okay, I'm going to share something else with you. What about a listening? Let me see if we can do it now. Okay, this is a listening activity that you are going to do. So try to resolve. As soon as you open it, let me know, please. Tan pronto lo abra, por favor, me, me lo indica. Okay, teacher. Lovely. Okay. Okay, what you are going to do is uh, that you need to watch the video and answer the following questions. Okay, usted solo va a darle click al video y basado en eso vamos a responder las preguntas. Posiblemente solo hacemos de la 1 a la 10, el resto no. Eh, teacher, con ¿Lo? el link, eh, fíjese que yo no lo puedo abrir. Ah, en el caso suyo, por, por su trabajo no puede activar el vídeo, ¿cierto? Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, let me share something for you. There is over there. Para el que no puede ver el video, eh, ahí hay otra actividad. Any question?
uh, teacher, I finish first activity. Okay, okay, perfect. Finish t shirt. Okay. Okay, what, what about the last activity that I that I show you? Okay, let me show you how you are going to do. Talking about the last one, right? Hablando de la última actividad, lo que usted tiene que hacer es bien simple. Okay, take a look at this. Days on movies, which word I need to add to this sentence? ¿Qué palabra será la que me ayuda a completar la oración? Watch. Okay, let, let us see. If you say watch, you are going to click in the word watch. Watches. Oh, okay, that's correct. Okay, try to resolve the next one. Trate de resolver la siguiente, por favor. Teacher, I finish the second activities. Okay, let me see the time that we have now. Finish teacher. Okay.
What about the rest? Did you finish? Finish. Okay. Finish. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, now we are going to switch the activity. Let us make a production area uh, time. Okay, what I need is that you organize your daily routine and share with us. Okay, necesito eh, que alguien se organice, organice su rutina y la comparta desde el momento que se despierta hasta que se va a su cama. Veamos quién se atreve a hacerlo. Okay, volunteers, volunteers. Okay, it's quite easy. You are going to say, okay, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. 10 minutes uh, later, I turn off my alarm. Okay, you are going to continue in that way. Who wants to do it? ¿Quién nos comparte su rutina? Veamos. Hola. Hello, hello, I'm still waiting. Okay, sigo esperando. Alguien, un voluntario que haga su rutina. Only one, please.
don't forget you're going to start uh, with the moment that you wake up. Va a describir desde el momento que se despierta hasta que regresa a su casa. Veamos. Who wants to do it? Based on your uh, reality. Para cada uno es diferente la rutina porque uno se levanta más temprano que otros. Ok, I'm still waiting. Sigo esperando. Ok, bueno, mañana seguiremos con el mismo tema, pero desde otro enfoque. But try to do it, try to do it now, please. Okay, anybody wants to do it? No? Okay, let me see. I'm going to choose someone. Okay, what about you? Don Jose Beltran, try to do it, please. Or uh, um, let me see who is it. Okay. Okay, go ahead, I sir. Wake. I, I wake up. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me. Okay, I wake up at six a.m. Then, then I take a shower. And I get dressed. Sometimes I comb my hair. Hair. Then I'm going to uh, drop my daughter off at school and I go to work. I have breakfast at work. Uh, uh, I have some meetings at 6 p.m. I return to home. Okay. Uh, in the case de... of... Cuando lleva a la hija, también puede, puede decir, I drive my daughter to her school. Drive. Yes, I drive. Ahí es manejar. Es, es, sí, pero ese verbo ahí se convierte en, cambia su significado. I drive. Ok. Sí, es como quien dice, llevo a mi hija, yo manejo. Sí. I drive. Yes. Ok. Claro, eso lo veremos más adelante ya en otro nivel, pero ya de una es bueno que se lo vayan aprendiendo. 
porque de acuerdo al nivel va a ir cambiando ya algunos significados. Ok, thank you, sir. Somebody else wants to do it? ¿Alguien más? Hola, hola. Aló. Teacher, eh, aquí estamos haciendo unas, pero no sé si puedo leer las que tenga. Ok, go ahead, try to do it. Don't worry, because tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic. I get up at five o'clock. Okay. I wake up five, five. Cinco y cinco sería five, five. <laughs> okay, or you can say five after five. Five after five. Yeah. I... Más adelante I... vemos cómo decir la hora. Okay. I take a shower at five after ten. I go to my work at six o'clock. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Un momentito. Because you say I take a shower five after ten. No sé si, si es que le estoy entendiendo mal, pero dice que you take a shower five after ten. A las diez y cinco. Five after ten. Por eso, five after. Um, Ahí me está ser. diciendo las diez y cinco. Ah, no muy tarde. que me diga ten after five, ahí sí. Ah, ok, ya sería al revés. Va. Ahí lo corrijo. Ok. Va, el siguiente. I go to my work at six o'clock. Ok. I have breakfast at 6.30. I eat lunch at 1 o'clock. I take a nap. Aquí busqué tomar una siesta. Yeah, take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap, uh -huh. At 2 o'clock. I go to the gym at 3 o'clock. At? Three o'clock. Okay, three o'clock, okay. Hasta ahí me quedé. Okay, nice. Todavía no regresó a su casa, pero se quedó en el... Falta? Sí, allá me quedé en el gimnasio. Ah, okay. Siga la ruta. Thank you. Okay. Okay, somebody else wants to do it? Come on, come on, you can do it. ¿Quién continúa? ¿Quién next? ¿Quién sigue? Yo, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Uh, my routine. I um, wake up at 40, 40, 40 a.m. and I take a shower. Okay, hold on. You wake up at 40 or 4? Four? 4, four oh. sorry. 4 a.m. 4 a.m., okay. And take a shower on. Uh, uh, Mm, I'm prepare my breakfast. Okay. Yeah, at uh, six I am. Um, I'm working in the office. At six a.m. you start working. Six six a.m. Okay. Uh, finish the. The work at 2 p.m. Okay, 2 p.m. Drive to my home and I'm all ready to go to the gym at 3 p.m. I ride to my work and okay. Uh, return of my home. No sé si está bien. 
and 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 go out with my pets from okay. with my dog and my cat. Okay, that means that you take a walk. Take a walk with your with take your. Take a walk. Pet. Okay. Saca pasear a los animalitos. Okay. And, uh, so I prep my dinner and the lunch for the next day. Okay, you prepare your the food for the next day. And so make the homework. Okay. And, and they I they I go to when to the class. Okay, you, you attend classes. And um uh, I I sleep. And you were asleep at at ten cherry. Ten cherry, okay. Okay, thank you. Nice tries. Okay, antes de, de, de ir buscando la salida, comentarles que eh, siempre las sesiones son de 120 minutos. Y por el apagón que tuve de el inicio me hacen falta eh, un par de minutitos. Eh, decirles que mejor trato de completarlos así porque a veces por cuestiones de 5 o 10 minutos nos toca repetir una sesión. Entonces yo sé que eh, para ustedes es muy valioso su tiempo. Desde luego para mí también, pero eh, por eso a veces eh, nos demoramos. <coughs> Pero tranquilo que ya estamos eh, al momento de hacer el cierre. Creo que con la asistencia está bien. Bien. Don't forget that tomorrow we are going to continue talking about this topic. El día de mañana vamos a continuar con este tema. Desde otra óptica. Justamente está comenzando a llover acá en la zona por donde estoy. Esperando que la energía no nos abandone porque hay que convertir el video y luego subirlo. Ok, América. América, América. América. No está. Blanca Esperanza. Presente. Ok. Diego. Present. Okay, Diego is there. Edwin. Present. Giovanni. Ingrid. Ingrid. Present. Okay, Jonathan. Present. No me menciona a mí, teacher. ¿A quién? Brian. A mí. Brian David. Sí, yeah, yes, you are right. Okay. Okay. ok, así me gusta. Despiertos, despiertos. Eh... José Carlos, si no guía, José Luis. Present. Okay, thank you, Karen. Present. Carla Lisset. Present. Okay. Soraya. Apareció, no apareció Soraya. Hello, Soraya, are you there? No. Okay, which one is missing? Okay, um, Lillian Soraya is not here. Mayra? Mayra Unis? Teacher, no me mencionó. Catherine? Presente. 
Será que me he saltado cuánto? Ok, let, let me see, let me see. Karen Michelle, are you there? Yes. Michelle? Ok, it's there. Eh, Carla Lisset. Ok, por ahí aparece Catherine Maricela. Present. Ok, Lilian Soraya. Ella es la que no aparece. Eh, en Maya Eunice. Mauricio Antonio. Presente. Roxana. Presente. Roxana Elizabeth. Roxana Elizabeth. Sara. Present. Okay, he's there. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess with this one we finish. Okay, bueno, les, ahí les tomé un par de minutitos. Eh, agradecerles por su paciencia. Generalmente habíamos iniciado, se me cortó y en eso eh, hubo una demora en tiempo. Así es que agradecido por el tiempo que todavía están acá. And don't forget to continue working in the platform. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, we are closing. We are so close to finish with number two of this module. Okay, recordarles que estamos en el cierre casi de la semana dos del módulo. Estamos justamente llegando a la mitad y el tiempo va volando. Ok, muchas gracias. Espero verles el día de mañana. Good night and bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.